Hey everybody, we're live. <laughs> we are like, I don't know what time is it, we're really late. Five minutes, seven oh. Well, this says we've been on for two minutes already or whatever, like in our spot, so that's good. Um, so tonight we have uh, Pam and Steve Barry on, which we are so excited. Um, very good friends of mine, I love them to death. And, uh, and she loves uh, us they, to death. Like to death. <laughs> To death. And yeah. then probably even after that, like I would come hang out at the lookout house. <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, so tonight we have Pam and Steve uh, Barry on. They live in Gettys well, Gettysburg, I guess, right? The lookout house is in Gettysburg. Um, and they run uh, the uh, uh, Gettysburg Ghost Exchange and they put on the Gettysburg Battlefield Bash. So yes, I am very excited to have as much as you, if, you, if anybody follows the show knows how much I love Gettysburg. <laughs> so um, thank you for coming on guys. Um, Thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah. So how are things in Gettysburg? You know, are things good? Like what's going on there? How are they handling the COVID and everything? Everything good? Um, COVID's cool. I mean, well, a lot of the kids were sent home from college, but I think they have it under control now. I, I really do. I think they're doing it um, remotely, um, a lot of the college courses, but um, everyone out of the like 30 something kids that were um, that were sick, I believe I saw on social media that two went into the hospital, but they're fine now. So, yeah. Um, awesome. You know, we're always having a protest. We're always having something in Gettysburg. Well, it's funny you say that because of how much I've been there, I haven't seen one protest. You're so, lucky. They're every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I mean, they were like Terrence in town, and we better not protest. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I would be upset. Yeah, I wouldn't. Well, I would not handle that very well. However, I'm happy to see that Officer Taylor is back. So that's a good thing. Yes. He, he's uh, that's awesome. Anyways, enough of that kind of stuff. Obviously, we're on here. You know, we're on the Paranormal yeah. Brew and Paranormal Warehouse to talk about. You know, you guys and what you do, and you know how much you give back to. You know that you do the the wounded warriors and the sick children, and you know you guys are very generous and and have hearts of gold you. and um, you have the store you went in with Mark Nesbitt and that's a great thing because he's, he's awesome. And uh, yeah. yeah. And you know, the lookout house and I mean, you guys, I can't believe you guys are awake at, right now with everything that you guys, <laughs> I would be exhausted. We actually, we actually were running all day today and we got in at like 622. I was like, I have to eat something really quick. And and now we get to sit That's and me. just chit chat. So it's good. Yes. So I, I like I was saying in, in lieu, I was telling I was telling Pam and then before we went on in lieu of the show tonight, I am in my Gettysburg room. This room is just all Gettysburg stuff, pictures, books, everything. And uh, I'm wearing my got. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says, oh my gosh, it's weird trying to do this looking at that. All right, so that goes. <laughs> Gettysburg, Gettysburg death. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a different night for me. I'm excited to talk to you guys about everything, you know. So uh, let's, what do you want to talk about first? The house? The store or bash? Uh, Gettysburg Battlefield Bash. Um, yeah. You know, COVID, you know, it can't, we had to cancel. And yeah. we waited till up to two weeks. We really tried to hold on. We were like, things are going to get better. Because I, I, I do try to, to have that view, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you know. Yeah. And and I think that's but, good. But for, go ahead. But I was going to um, say, have not gotten, we haven't gotten the room blocks yet. But I will tell you the date. But I don't have the room blocks. And the right. only reason why I haven't I haven't given people a date is because no. I don't have the room blocks yet. 
So I'd probably have like 50 or 100 emails. Okay. Where's the room block? But okay, so as long as people know, we don't have the room blocks as of yet. Because the Wyndham switched companies during COVID yeah. that handles room blocks. So our new, so room, we have to our new date is... You don't know when, actually. Oh, come on. You're killing me. <laughs> the thing the bash. That's saying. August oh. <laughs> 20th. August 20th through 22nd. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm we had to putting it in the books. Didn't August. really want to do August. Didn't really want to do August, but, um, on there, you it? know. Yeah. No, it's fine. Any time is a good time. Trust me. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm August so excited. 20th, 22nd. Yes. Me too. I will I too. be there. Oh, my goodness. So for those that are watching that don't know what the Gettysburg Battlefield Bash is, um, can you got, can you just give them um, how it started, what you guys do, what it, what the monies go towards, who comes, you know? So we started down on the bottom of Pike. Um, and then the problem was with the Pike restaurant. It was an amazing little venue, but we ran out of parking places. So we moved to the Wyndham in the Grand Ballroom and out back of the Wyndham. Uh, and we raise money and we help Pennsylvania Wounded Warriors and Heroes for Hire, which is John Buckman. He is our Batman and he helps critically ill children. So that's and the field comes together. They support um, both of our causes. And it's just an amazing it's an amazing event. The field is very giving and very caring. She's muted. <laughs> Sorry, I do that because sometimes we get feedback off, off of my end oh, okay. when you're talking. Right. So I use my mute. Well, I, I can't hear you. I don't have feedback. <laughs> All right. But I, I think it's amazing how when Power Unity really does work together, the amazing Power things. Power. Are that we, is he for real? No. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> he's like me. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, it's amazing that Hi, John. I mean, I mean, some of the restoration stuff that the paranormal has has accomplished, and then the you know all the stuff that you do with you know I, I love it. I love it, and uh, and it's a great thing now. I, we went, we even, there was people that still went this year in lieu of just to keep the spirit alive of the bash. I was, I was blown away and so honored. And I was just amazed at the people that still came out just like, you know, just to keep that spirit going. That was, that was really yeah. nice. I was blown away. I was shocked. It, it really is. I mean, for it's like everything I, I uh, believe in and stand up for, you know, it, it, it helps our, you know, the veterans and, you know, all that stuff. I mean, it's it's very it's very patriotic type of a, and you're very giving. Yeah. It takes a lot of time to do that stuff and get those people. And I mean, I'm sure there's yeah. people that watch that run that throw events. They know the hard work that goes into it, you know. You know, we haven't lost any vendors, though. Our vendors and are. Waiting for 2021, you know, they want to be there. They know what we're about. They know what that they're important and they're ready and waiting for 2021. Um, not just vendors, the patrons yes, as well. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> yes. and we all love, we all love the bash. <laughs> it's I, I'm amazed like, at how it grew. Yeah, I was gonna say it's almost like you know, I get excited about the bash as much as I get excited about phenomenology. You know what I mean? Like that is like, to me, those mm -hmm. two, I, I haven't had something else, you know, where I was looking so much forward to um, because mm -hmm. Phenom's always been a great time, but this is now up there with it. Like those are, these are the two things that I'm like this, I need off and I'm going <laughs> like, it's, there's nothing. Thank you. you know? Thank you. Yeah. It's a lot I of really work. Think it's a lot of it work. It is. It's worth well, it. If you ever need help, 
you know, I, you know, I've always told you, if you guys ever need anything or any help, you let me know. Well, we do. We, we actually do need help. Yeah. Tell me what. We need dunk tank. We need people in, dunk, in the dunk tank. I'll do we it. We need people I'll to get do dunked. It. I'll do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Tony's going to do it. I'll do it. I'm getting All right. All right. So. It. It'll be August. It's really hot. You know? Oh, yeah. So no, I'll, do it. Cool I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, you got to be one of those really provoking people. To tell her, you can't throw your little wimp and all that stuff. You know, no, I'll just stand there with my American flag bathing suit on. Yeah, we're not from <laughs> Italy. Yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not. make them all nervous. They'll definitely miss. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> do it. So, all right. So now let's talk about let's talk about Gettysburg Ghost Exchange. Uh, okay. Um, Got a lot of new equipment in with a lot. New builders. Um, we got a new builder. His uh, we've got some rem pod amazing rem pods. Yeah. I, you know what? We don't have any equipment here, do we? Uh, we've got ghost tunes here. If you want to see the ghost tune, have you guys yeah, seen that so one yet? So, and again, for people that don't know, the Ghost Exchange. Now, the Ghost Exchange. The uh, Gaysburg Ghost Exchange. The uh, they uh, went in with. Um, Mark uh, Nesbitt's ghost. Of, you went in with Mark Nesbitt, ghost of Gettysburg. Are you picking on me again? Yeah. I'm gonna kick your yes, butt. Yes, <laughs> So he, they went in on, and then um, so they're in with Mark Nesbitt, but they sell you know ghost hunting equipment, and you know you sell what else do you guys sell? There's like um. You we sell metaphysical. We sell metaphysical stuff. Yes. Yeah. We sell yeah, that, and then I have a that? Reiki room and a new reading room too. So, oh, so. This is ghost tune. Oh, okay, and turn on. So oh, what I this does? Oh, sweet too. I'd be like in the room. It measures. It measures three motion, three hundred and sixty degrees around it, sixteen feet away. It'll go up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I want one of those. How much is that? They go for $189. Whoa. The 3D that's printed awesome. battery in the back, mm -hmm. nine volt in the back. They're they're gear driven, not belt driven. So you don't have to worry about the little belt breaking. But um, yeah, they work great. Like I said, 360 yeah. degree motion. With a 16 feet capability from the unit. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. And then come two I'm, tone or, or two the color. Can, so I can't wait to play with one. Speaking of, so, so, all right, so you have the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange, right? Um, uh -huh. And do you sell tickets for investigations through there? Or like, how do you guys? Yeah. So you got. So the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange also does like investigations at local. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I I I hate to say, but the entire town is active. But there are certain mm -hmm. spots that you know these guys will take you to. Um, you know, there's the orphanage. You guys do the orphanage, right? Yeah. Um, the orphanage, Jenny Wade. Jenny yeah, Wade. Jenny mm -hmm. Wade. Cash Town. Cash Town. Yeah. Which I'm in on the next one. That's it. I I don't care if you have to. If I have to sell my body to <laughs> the owners of Cash Town, I will. <laughs> yep. And then we have a couple new locations coming up. We don't have it set in stone, so I don't want to say anything yet to jinx us. But we have some new spots we coming up. David Stewart Farm. Too. David Stewart Farm. I love Stephanie Maitland. If you have not been to the David Stewart Farm, it was a field hospital. Um, a Confederate field hospital they used on the retreat and Stephanie Maitland is an amazing woman. Um, she's also an Airbnb, the David Stewart farm. I don't know if anybody really um, in the field um, has stayed there, but they should. She has two amazing rooms that she runs out and they're very active and you can go out in the barn to the really? field hospital. 
Yeah. 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 Well, I've been there a couple of times, but I've been there with a group, you know what I mean? Like a group of people. So I have always, I have always wanted to stay there, you know, like that's one place I want to stay at your house. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to have to block this person because I don't know this person's I'm going to block this person for sure. Uh -uh. Uh, Excuse me for one (laughs) second. Okay. I blocked him. He was like the messaging. uh, It looked like a spam message, like going out to everybody that was on here. Uh, um, Anyway, uh, I forget what I was saying now. (laughs) Uh, We're talking about Stephanie, Stephanie Maitland. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I've always wanted to stay there overnight myself, you know, but also your place and I want to investigate Cash Town. Those are my three big, I want to investigate the, the lookout house for sure, you know, um, mm-hmm. and, you know, so, yeah, you know, you could do, you could do one, you could be like, all right, retiring, we have to do it um, on a Saturday. One's on a Saturday, one's on a Wednesday, and one's on the next Saturday. So you have to stay for a week to get in all your investigations. Right. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like oh, really? Okay. And then don't tell cops. <laughs> so, so, all right. So go ahead. So we do. So do they go through the ghost, the ghost exchange to do, to set all that stuff up? Yep. 717-521-7465. Now, are there certain restrictions right now because of COVID? Like, are you go, like you guys are. being able to do normal? No, our, our groups are smaller. So our October is totally sold out. It was sold out before I eat. I didn't even get to advertise it. People wow. knew that we were doing it and they called and got tickets. Um, that's for the orphanage. Um, I will be doing something in November. We always do something like a Thanksgiving with the orphans. So um, that'll be early November. And then we always do my bloody Valentine. So we're going to put a twist on that this year. So it's going to be at two different locations. So I will let everyone know. And then, um, I don't know. Steve. Steve did it. Hey, where's my girl? (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'll be back. Yeah, Yeah. tell them. Just click the link again. Oh, I didn't share this on our page. Hold on. Drink break. We're drinking space time. What? It's Russian. Russian cosmos. Oh no, not me. Space rings. What happened? What what happened? I don't oh crap. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know what is going on. Just so everybody knows, this is like a normal thing for the brew. Like there it can never be just everything just goes smooth. Like there's always oh here they come. (laughs) I don't know. I hit the the chat button on the bottom and kick me out. Sorry. That was Steve. My fault. Steve, so, stop messing with it. Te- technical difficulties. His um, yeah, Anyway, of- we're going to be doing um, my Bloody Valentine. We're going to have a Christmas event. Um, so we're just, oh, and October 23rd, we are having April from the Holzer Files. She will be doing readings um, oh. at the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange. And mm. October 24th is is our Halloween party. So best dressed person, best dressed Halloween costume gets two free tickets to Mark Nesbitt's um, Ghosts of Gettysburg. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have cookies, we're, you know, gonna have some things for sale uh, and we're just gonna have a little Halloween party. Yeah, and just so everybody knows, this is not a shock. Like I said, the entire town is active and haunted. However, the store is in a, a Gettysburg Ghost Exchange is in a haunted inside a haunted house yes. in itself. So the chances of maybe having an experience while you're there is is high as well. Mm-hmm. So and Greg, then you when meet you Martin has it, he wrote all the books of Ghosts of Gettysburg. Uh, he, has so, he has so many, and he's got DVDs. He's amazing. Yeah. He's an amazing character to meet. Uh, he's yeah. full of knowledge of Gettysburg. 
And yes. he's just, people should really meet Mark. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, so I don't know. What is it? It's 2000. And so about uh, 10 years ago, me and Mr. Nesbitt had a conversation about my uh, soldier picture. Right. Okay. Cause I caught, I got an apparition of a soldier on the, on the railroad cut. And he, right. he said he was going to put it up in his, uh, you know, in the store to this day, I walk in there. Mm -hmm. Number one, I don't see it. And number two, I don't have the balls to be like, yo dude, remember you said you're going to put my picture up. <laughs> you he, needs him. New, he needs new material up. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell him and ask him say hey do you remember my picture and show it to him yeah well and how did you get back to the cut i've never been back there how did you get back there back where to the cut were you on in the down in the cut where did you well, just kind of walk down yeah i didn't know it was private property and you weren't allowed down there i didn't know until last summer gotcha but it sent you so, a summons <laughs> I so no, I just, <laughs> uh, no, I'm part of a that's, of a, that's cool. a yeah. So but so so Brian Cano now has this uh paranormal history of the paranormal mobile exhibit that he's doing. He's going everywhere, which maybe you can tell him to come to the bash because it's really it's really good, real informative, educational, um, but an unbiased opinion of the paranormal field and world and everything. Um, but he used that picture, two of my pictures, but that was one of them for the mobile exhibit, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so I was like, no, all I need is Nesbitt. Like, that's like, you know, to me, that's like, I was like, I got to get on that damn wall. <laughs> <I was like. laughs> so, but anyways, so yeah, so he does. And that was my get my get an afterlife shirt. I put up as I got that. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love those shirts. Yeah. All right. So through the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange. Okay. So somebody said, what is that? What is the place the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange? And has I met, as I meant, didn't get on in time. It's at, we're located at 271 Baltimore Street. We are the largest brick and mortar paranormal equipment store in the Northeast. So if you but, want it, we probably have it. If we don't have it, we can get it for you. Yes. Um, and then, okay. So the lookout house. So can you get tickets through to investigate? How do, how do you do, how are you doing the house investigations? Um, you can get on Airbnb and book a room or you can call the number 717-521-7465 and we can get reservations that way. Awesome. So now, um, um, it's me and like four of my friends in my group. I just call you guys up or go online. And is there a minimum stay? One, two nights? Is it? No, one night. Okay. No. And how many people? Are, are stay? Well, we have three rooms. We have the Victorian room. We have the Darb. And we have the Americana. The Americana sleeps four people. That's Tyron's um, room, by the way. Yeah. The um, Darb and the Victorian both sleep two. Awesome. So you're allowed to have that, that as many as it can sleep, you can have. Yep. We have had um, um, investigators come and then, you know, if if it's more people than that, then they just bring a blow up mattress. OK. All right. Cool. Um, I just didn't know if there was like a limit, you know what I mean? Because of everything. But wow, because of COVID. Yeah, we're like, I think Governor Wolf says like 50, 50 I think he says 20. I think he says 25 now, but we keep it to about 12. Listen. Yeah, it, I need to I need to go in there because I'll tell you what, just even walking through the house, it's amazing. I mean, I'm so I, I love it. It's gorgeous. And when you drive up to it and that's all you see is this like gorgeous Victorian, like you're like, wow, you know, and yeah, it's just it's beautiful. Thank the you. It's a cupola. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, what else was I gonna what else did I, I never I've never been. I'm a virgin on everything. I did go to Gettysburg Bass, but it was canceled, but I still show up in spirit. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Anthony. 
Um, what else? I feel like there's like so much more. What the hell? I feel like there's like so much more to talk about. Um, there is. It's Gettysburg. You can talk. Yeah. You can talk for hours at Gettysburg. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we <laughs> there. And that's the thing. So. Um, so how far out are you are you booked like how far booked out are you for the house? I would say probably we're up to December now. Oh. Oh, that was the other thing we didn't talk about. So so who we can uh, about the bash like did you say like who comes out to the bash like you have some power celebs come out, you know what I mean for autographs and everything. Yeah. I'm not signing this year. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not <laughs> signing this year. Uh, yeah, we have, Jim's got a list. Hold on. She, I think she's trying to pop it up now. I'm trying to pop my list up. I don't want to miss anyone. Number one, Zach Baggins. I heard you guys have Zach Baggins. Right? Zach Baggins. That would be cool. I don't right. know if he does events. He, he, I, I, well, listen, I, I'm not the one to gossip, so you didn't hear it from me, even though we are in a public forum. But it was mm -hmm. told to me that he does do events but and i don't know if this is true or not disclaimer i don't know if it's true or not but that he charges mm -hmm. like 20 grand to show up Woo! you know that's that's a, i i won't mention this a celebrity i spoke to about that because yeah. some celebrities that. asked to come and they wanted to get paid and i told him does a soldier go out in, in the field and risk his life and ask you to pay him you, but usually, I mean, all of the people no. who come, all of our, all of our special guests who come, they come and they donate their time. Yeah, ninety, ninety, yeah, a hundred percent of them do. That yeah, we have come. Did, there is, there is some that want that dollar, though. There is some that want I mean, that dollar. Well, you know, yeah. and the ones who show up, the ones who have been there and supported us, in LA. always. Yeah. They always come and donate their time. We've got Dustin every year. He comes and donates. We've got Scott. Gordon. All those trucks come. The the uh, the blackout truck yep. and Agent Orange and all those trucks. They all come. They donate their time. I their love fuel. Uh, yeah, we've got really James Anita Johnson, so Santiago. Cool. Yeah. Well, that big truck's the one that's. I think it's the only one left right now during COVID. I think Agent Orange got sold because they needed money for to stay alive. I, I know Blue Havoc was supposed to come to the bash. Um, you never seen that truck. That truck was supposed to be there this year, but it got canceled. He sold his truck to build a house because he needed a house. Um, oh, wow. So Blackout's, Blackout's the main truck, but there's other vehicles coming out now that are being built right now. So Yeah. Well, Batman comes out. The Batmobile. Yeah, Batman. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, we're building something different too. So we have a surprise, but we can't say yet. Ooh. Listen, you keep dude, that's the third time you guys did that. The third time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they're gonna announce some big stuff on my show. Yay. <laughs> well, we announced the date. We we announced, yeah, we announced the, the date. date. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can I tell them the surprise? I'm gonna be dressing up as the dark knight. There you, know, you go. Gonna, and then I get a dance and like invite everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. The party on the deck out back. So you come walking out like that. <laughs> Look for Luke. So I sense. remember like last year you had Scott Porter. Yep, right? Scott Porter. They'll be back. Dustin. Dustin comes every year. Yep. Um, uh, let's see. Um, she went through her list. Hold on. Carl Johnson, James Anito, Santiago from The Walking Dead. Uh, Mike, Mike from... Um, Shepherdstown. Sh goes to Shepherdstown. Uh, do -do Rachel Hoffman. Uh, Chris DeCheveray. DeCheveray. I love that guy. Um, <laughs> Eric Knapp and Stephanie. I love her. Mustafa and Daryl from Ghost Hunters. Um, Paratalk Radio we have there. He um, interviews some people. Uh, you, you Richard like, Estep. Yeah, and then you have people that do. There's somebody, a tattoo guy. That comes out. Yeah, yes. Connie Deville. Deville Inc. Inc. Master. Yeah. Him and his yeah, wife. Yeah, Sam Baltris. Um, he's one of my favorite um authors. I love his books. Um, Gavin Kelly and Paula, of course, Mark Nesbitt, um, Josh Hurd. Um, he owns Malvern Manor. 
And we're going to have Deanna Simpson talking about her book this year. Of course, we have Jeff Leeper. We've got a whole bunch of people. Whole bunches. Do you, have, do you ever get any uh, international? Yeah. Uh, Not yet. No. Not yet. Well, Richard Estep, he's from Canada. Yeah, but he lives in Colorado, right? Yeah, I think he's um, multi, you know. I meant like, yeah. Oh, well, West. He lives in Colorado, Canada. Yeah, no, Wes. Wes is from um, Canada. Don't pick on me. Ouch. I'm surprised. <laughs> it's, it's like having him. Yeah, maybe. It's the blonde. Maybe we could so uh, get somebody from the UK. Somebody from like Most Haunted, the show, or somebody from England or the UK. I'm sure we'll add more now uh, as it's coming. On you know during the year people contact us they yeah. say they want to be at the bash and and uh, we're limited to what ninety six spaces no I think ninety 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 not, spaces yeah so uh, unless people want to set up outside then they can set up outside yeah you know yeah it depends Other on the food. weather too though it'll be yeah. August so well, August can be funny August you can get it can be hot as can be then you get those afternoon thunderstorms where storms were like. 15 minutes when the sun yeah. comes back out. So you never know. Yeah. For sure. So are you going to have, and I don't remember, did you, I don't know if you, you didn't do like, do you do nighttime investigations off of the bash or is it just like the parties and stuff? Like, is it? Well, yes and, yes and no. Yes. Yeah, some people um, like Mark Nesbitt will be there and he'll be selling his tickets. Um, gotcha. And then some of the teams, they, they um, will get an investigation together, and then we we because they're here supporting our yeah. our bash. Then they will sell their tickets to investigations. Right. But for us to organize an investigation, we Pam and I just, just don't have time. Yeah. To we usually like uh, Dave Haney or someone like that will do one. Yeah, and if they do that, we'll know by March. Yeah, so we'll know by March if they're going to do another one. This yeah, year. they do. Um, that is Stephen's house, which is amazing. It's an they amazing. may have another oh, location. Yeah. They, that, they, that somebody did that this past year, and I like wanted to go, and then we, we I, everybody partied, and I forgot about it. And the next day, yeah. I was like, "So that is Stephen, that's an Airbnb. You can rent that is Stevens out, and it's a oh, great really? investigation. Yep, mm -hmm. it is a great investigation. Yeah. We've got um, some really good." E VPs out of there. It was a little girl and she told us her name. Do you remember her name? I was going to ask you. Thelma. Thelma. She said she was coughing in the back and we didn't even hear the cough. It's somebody else heard it. It was like <laughs> like a little kid, like that really bad cough. And then you hear her go in a little girl's voice, it's Thelma. Like, wow. And we had no children there and there was it was very few of us there. So it was a very oh, controlled wow. environment and Definitely, we heard it's Thelma. Wow, that's so, cool. Yeah, we had some good stuff out there. Yeah, I mean, there's it's got, like three bedrooms. Oh, three that's bedrooms. Three bedrooms. So it's kind of it's a, yeah. well, it looks small. It looks like it's a it's a small you know place. It but is. that's what yeah. they were back then. You know? Yeah, it was yeah, a living yeah. room, uh, like a little study room, right? A kitchen, and then just three bedrooms and a bathroom. Yeah. Definitely good investigation. Oh, and an and a, um, attic. Yeah, an attic. Hmm. Yeah. I, so there's like there's like a couple places that 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 I have to investigate still, because really like I stay like for New Year's I come for New Year's, but I stay at the Inn at Lincoln Square, and the Inn at Lincoln Square I've that's, obviously that's gotten investigation. I have gotten so much stuff from there, but again I that's where I stay the like the most like when I. I'm coming in for like anything paranormal or if I'm coming in for, you know, like certain things, you know, mm -hmm. I stay there all the time and, and I, I've gotten, I've heard disembodied voices there, basement doors flown open, you know, like. Well, um, if you're coming in for New Year's this year, you better get your reservation because the big hotel across the street is not taking any reservations. The um, college is using that hotel. Oh, so well, you, I, I booked, I booked. Gettysburg. Yeah. Well, I book when I'm leaving. So every year I, I book it a year advance. I'm like, because I want a certain room. You know what I mean? Like I'm one of those. 
<laughs> like I want my room. I want these, you know. Right. So it's it just where so so it fun. is fun. We, yeah, like people don't realize. We stick, out, we stick out totally. We always stick out, you know. We're dancing in the streets. We're just we're just really enjoying every single minute of it. It's really. I love yeah. New Year's in Gettysburg. I, I'm telling you, people around here are like you go to Gettysburg for New Year's. I'm like, oh, I'm like, it is so fun. I was like, I have so the the thing is, is <clears throat> it goes along with um, the feeling in the air and just like you're there, you feel like you've been a part of the town forever. Like nobody, you don't feel like you're from out of town. You know, like you feel like you're, and everybody's just so cool, and everybody's just minding their own business partying with each other dancing yeah. nobody's worried about anybody else you know what i mean it's like yeah. it's just such a good environment you know and and it's fun it's so much fun it is. it's a blast we stayed at um and the fireworks we stayed at that schoolhouse the one year oh the one on Buford Avenue, it's a schoolhouse. I can't remember yeah. what it's called. Um, um, we did a little mini investigation there. We didn't get that much, but it was still, um, it was good. Yo, it have you heard anything everything. about the about the the Sherfy house? Like, is that like public? No. That's like that's not privately owned, right? I think that's owned by the Park Service now. I'm pretty is sure. It? Yeah, um, I know that you can. Rent the other one. What's the one that Kayla rented that one time? I can't remember. I don't know. Called. I need houses. Um, and the that's Bushman right Farm. in the Bushman. Bushman. Yeah, that's sure. it. Bushman. You can get that one. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, it's like, I think off season, it's like, you have, they have a thing where you got to stay a minimum of two or three nights or something. Probably two. Um, and I, yeah. And I think it's like 350 in season. So that would be the summer. And uh, I think off season, I think it's like two twenty five or two fifty or something like that. You know what I mean? But I bad. mean, you get enough people, but you get enough people to go in with you. And and let me tell you how cool that house looks at nighttime when it has just like the kitchen light on, because you can't see nothing down there at the at, at when it's dark and you're driving through the park because mm -hmm. there's no lights, yeah. and all you see is this little yeah. yellow square of a light in the field, and you're like. I want to be there so bad. <laughs> like, yeah, so we had cool. Thanksgiving dinner there one year. Was that last year or the year before? Year before. Year before we had Thanksgiving dinner there. It was very nice. Oh, really? What do you mean? How did you do that? My did friend you, Kayla like, did they rented have it. something? No, my friend rented ah. it and she took dinner and we all went to dinner. It was very it was really nice. Oh, uh. It's a nice inside. Is it real pretty? It is. It's very, um, it, nothing's modern in it, except, I mean, it has a stove and all that, but like the steps when you walk up it are still like where people, you can tell that they were walking up it for, for years, hundreds of years. I mean, it's like, oh, that's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's an I amazing little place. Well, your place is amazing. Even that, to have the cupola, even you go up there. Oh my gosh, that's probably yeah, one cupola. of my favorite places. Is uh, 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 on the top. Mm -hmm. That was put on in 1916. Oh, it's it's like so nice. You go up there, the the breeze in the summertime, just like you. I would fall asleep out there. Yeah, we get bats up there once in a while. I love bats. I don't care. I'm not afraid mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like I know that I think sounds weird, weird, but I'm not afraid of them at all. Nah, neither are we. Most of the guys who are up there will run from them before the girls will. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve got peed on at Sax Bridge by a um by a bat. Oh I God, think bats are like his spirit guide or something because when bats are around, they pee on them. <laughs> that might be good luck. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It smells like ammonia. Did you did you see that I got the the coordinates tattooed? No. No. Yeah. Hold on. What is that? The coordinates for Gettysburg? Yeah. Oh, that's very yep. cool. Yep. 
I got it. We were, we were, when we were in town, when we missed each other last, um, you were hiding from us. <laughs> no way. No, but that was a miscommunication. I thought somebody she was, was in the hospital. Me. Oh, yeah. Somebody yeah, was yeah. in the hospital. I was, I was, that's what I said. Someone was hiding from you. Yeah, you were. You were like, Tyrant's coming. Oh, yeah. No, we got to go. Hey, Fib. <laughs> Tyrant's coming. Hey, Fib. Hey, Fib. <laughs> I know. What the heck? Oh, I'm nice. so mad. Um, so yeah, so I got my tattoo. I just I went. I said I have my my guys that I use. You know, I have this is like my tenth mm -hmm. tattoo. So I have my guy in Jersey that I use, and I'm like, isn't it only right just for like memorial purposes that I get my Gettysburg tattoo in Gettysburg? You know? Yeah, where'd you so get the lock? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. It literally took him like five. It didn't hurt at all. I didn't even know he was doing it. Yeah. I don't know why you went there. I could have done it for you. I don't, I don't even know needle. what. The, huh? Sewing needle, Indian ink, will touch. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, I had one done like that before. That, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I like the. Zzz, I love the needle, the needle sound. Like, I have like a little bit of a. I love it. It's therapeutic. So. It's AMSR. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happened to Pam. How many you got? 14? I have 14. Yeah. <laughs> You're falling asleep to it. Freaking a oh, ooh, I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a tattoo gun uh tattoo gun uh AMSR on YouTube. Like you know, you share like the tattoo. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, they no, have the, you have to guys. have the noise. Yeah, they have I the noise. I don't want to sign them and I have to have that noise. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, somebody said tattoos are addicting. They really are. I mean, it's better than being addicted to anything else. That's what I used to tell my my dad. He'd be like, really? I'm like, dad. And then he goes and gets one. But I'd be like, it's better. Would you rather me be addicted to? <laughs> you know? like So, but yeah, they are. So what's your most tormented place in Gettysburg you found so far? Oh, good question. Ooh, that is a good question. That is a good question. And I'm a virgin in some areas, so I'll let Taryn go first. Well, in your guys' defense, number one, I haven't investigated the lookout house yet. Right? No, I and, no, I haven't, I and I haven't and I haven't done Cash Town or, you know what I mean? So I've, I really haven't done any of the, you know, I've always just done my own thing around town. So, goodness. On the battlefield, and I say I know the whole town is the battlefield, but I'll say the park. In the park, um, mm -hmm. I would. Hmm, God, mm -hmm. so I've gotten the most evidence and have had the most um, personal experiences behind Culp's Hill. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. I, I tell everyone to go to Culp's Hill. Yeah. All right, Culp's Hill. Absolutely. And the brickyard. I send people to the brickyard all the time. And people are like, where's the brickyard? I'm like, you have to see the mural. And you have to stand there and just do an EVP session. You're so I, I went there during the day. day. I went there during the mm -hmm. day. Definitely had a feeling, but I want to go there at night. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody is saying yeah. triangular field, um, which I've, I've, I've heard it, but I've honestly never had an experience there. I've never had experience there, or I've never had experience at the like Devil's Den. I haven't had experience there. Whenever I go in the triangular field, my camera stops working every time. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. No, I've I honestly I've never. But I mean, like I, you know, again, it's not, and because I think because a couple of times I went, and I didn't, so it's not some place that I always go to. Like I'll go to Culp's Hill. Because I know, you know, but I've also had stuff at the 20th main, the actual monument. You know what I mean? Like not mm -hmm. Little Round Top, but back at the monument, I've had intelligent responses to EVPs. Like as intelligible, because I was thinking, I know I've said this a million times, but it's it's amazing. But like, I was thinking globally and I was just like, are you from Pennsylvania? And the EVP's like, mm -hmm. no. 
Maine. So I was like, you oh. know, if I would have said, are you from Maine? Because I'm at the 20th Maine Monument. And then you got a yes. I mean, that's a little bit more arguable. But I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking I'm in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to be like, are you from Pennsylvania? Oh, <laughs> like not even realizing. <laughs> but right. I mean, I got an Big answer. Round Top yeah. uh, is a really good place to go. Because, I mean, it's a try. I mean, you got to walk up. Ugh. I can't just walk straight up it. I got to do this and go up like that. But once you get up there, it's very quiet. That's a really good place to, to have a session. Because it's so, so listen quiet. To this. I, no yes. to I, I've, <laughs> I've only been up there. I've only been up, up the big round top once. And I just found out like six months ago. Um, my great, 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 um, died of a massive heart attack on big round top. Like he was just walking wow. up big round top and he died. Oh, That's wow. why I yeah. wouldn't climb it. That's exactly why I wow. wouldn't climb it. Now, <laughs> what was he a confederate? Was he in the union? Like what, what was he up there for? No, was no, it was after, no, it was after. No, it was after the war. This was like, so he would have been, I think this was, I have the uh, news, the newspaper clipping because, um, mm -hmm. you know, it just, he's my, so he, it would have been like, I think it was like, God, I don't want to say it was either early 1900s. You know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. to the right. mid, to, uh, I think it was early 1900s, but yeah. So that's one connection. And then I found that there is actually in um, the cemetery, not the, you know, the evergreen cemetery that there's a, a Lillian Kerper hyphen deal. So there's a Kerper buried in the Gettysburg or the evergreen cemetery. Oh, wow. So but I can't find the connection up. there, but yeah, I've, I've been trying. So, but I haven't now knowing that now I want to go up big round top and do something up there. Mm -hmm. I want to see, you know, knowing that I have a family member, you know, um, that died there, you know what I mean? Like maybe who knows? Oh yeah. And, you, you know, it was, yeah. I mean, it was a massive heart attack. He died right there. You know what I mean? Wow. So I just want to maybe go there now with a different mindset and see what happens. Right. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, let um, me know what happens. You should do that. Shit, you should come with me. Oh, I walked up that hill the, the last time I went up. I had my mother. My mom's passed away now, and she was walking so fast. I was like, "Mom, wait up, wait up." She was a walker. She used to sprint walk. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like, a oh big hill. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, 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 I was I, the. The Culp Hill has probably been been the most, though, for sure. Um, places that I've stayed because, I, again, I stayed there the most. So it's like the Inner Lincoln Square for me has been because I've had I've had the most crazy stuff happen there. Like the like I said, the basement door just flew open. Like, but you could hear it unlock because it has those old locks. It's because it was before eighteen sixty three that house has been there, right? But like you, we all three of them, us were standing there, which all of us heard it. You know, the door was like unhinging, unlocking. You can hear the doorknob and the, or the because it's one of them ones where you had to push it down or whatever. And mm -hmm. no, it wasn't. The on the other side, on the basement side of it was a uh, an old doorknob, but you could hear it, and it was just like, and it didn't slowly open. It was and hit the wall, and we were like, "There's no breeze down there just, either." I mean, no, yeah, there's no windows or. Not nothing that and strong. I believe, I believe that was used to, um, as a more during the battle. The, the basement what? there. I'm pretty sure that's what Hillary told me. That Which the was, basement was used as a morgue. Yes. From true. the battle, they would just drag the bodies and put them down there. Yeah. So that's true. Yeah, that's part. That's it. That is the history. But there was so much stuff like that. The house has a lot of history, like so many different types. Of, and then, I mean, for me in the house, it's been both. It's been residual and it's been intelligent every time I've been there. 
So like I like that little doorway in the bathroom. Looks like a um upstairs, yeah. Gonna come out of it. I know. <laughs> you what you're like, wonder what they use that for? Like what yeah. was that? Yeah, it's definitely a cool place. Um I thought maybe I was thinking like maybe it was like um I was getting the impression that it was somebody somebody's like their dog little dog's house or a cat house or something you know what I mean because the door is just too small for anything else. Yeah, I'll have to ask Hillary next time I so, see her. Um, but yeah, so that I mean that's what I think. What about you guys? What's your uh, will you live uh, in the lookout? Cash town. Cash town. Yes. Cash town. I love Cash Town. So I've never been yet. I've so, seen two apparitions in Ash, yeah, uh, Cash Town. Steve, already. tell them what you saw. I saw one in room six, a guy getting dressed, and then I see him went up in Lee's headquarters or Lee's room upstairs. Walk right in front of the door. I heard Lee's room is crazy. I heard Lee's room is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like I like good, the good room. Room. And things things move all over the place in Heath room. He in Heath's room. Like they just don't like when things are on the dresser. Um, and then we were all, all of us were in the Heath room and it's the smaller room. And there were only a couple of us doing an investigation that night. And there was a dark shadow that came up, running up the steps and through the one door. And that door is, uh, it leads to like the pipes of the, of the bathroom in the AP Hill room. So oh, wow. wherever that dark shadow was going, I have no clue, but he was running. That's crazy. No, no, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to go yeah. there. I, I seriously want to go there. Um, there's a, a Linda on here. She she says a triangular field for her, right? And then she says, yeah. I can't go, I can't go back there and I live in Gettysburg. First of all, you're lucky you live in Gettysburg. Just want to mm -hmm. throw that out there. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll hold your hand. Um, but um, I just am curious as to why she can't go back there. Cause I mean, I've never heard anything bad back there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I remember, I actually have never heard anything bad period in Gettysburg, you know? Yeah. We, I, I, when I had first started coming up to Gettysburg as a tourist, I had my nephews with me and my kids and they're, they're in their thirties now. But, um, I guess my nephew, Jeffrey might've been, maybe 11 or 12 years old. And we were standing on the rocks, that little round top, just kind of taking in our last view for the night because the park closed. And the kids were kind of in front of us. And Jeffrey and I looked behind and there was a man with this brown floppy hat on. And he was just standing there like this. And he was like, hmm. and he was just looking. And oh, Jeffrey wow. and I turned to each other and looked. And then we turned back. The guy was gone, totally gone. Wow. Now, he was in like butternut and Jeffrey was, he was 12. He started crying and ran to the um, van and started banging on the door of the van, making his mother let him in. We tease. Oh, wow. I still tease him about it. He's a grown, grown man now. I almost said that's so was. crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. What's he say now though? Does he say it's scared? Like, does it something that scared him? Like, Forever now that or was he's a he... man, he, he'll tell you he was petrified. That 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 man was there. We heard him laughing. He got our attention, then he was gone. But yeah, my nephew will tell you he was frightened. Well, one guy told us at one time at the rest area that they were doing reenactment, and during the reenactment, some soldier walked right up to him and said, "Thank you for doing this," and then just disappeared right in front of him. Yeah, in front of the whole reenactment group. Oh, wow. Oh, tell your story. Tell the story about the lookout house. That guy that was standing in there and, and he's... Oh, the guy. The guy. Had a, that well, is the coolest. You. That's one of the coolest stories I've ever heard. We had a, a corporate um, event here where people came from mm -hmm. corporate. So in the dining room area and Jim Myrick was in the smoking cigar room area. He was doing phasma box. And during the phasma box session, there was two girls sitting at the dining room table in here by themselves. So you can see them through the pocket doors. And the pocket doors mm -hmm. were open. And the front door was, the, well, the back door was locked here so no one could come in. And a guy was standing by the other door that goes into the kitchen. 
you know, just hanging out there. Well, well, he's asking, Jim's asking questions, and he goes, hey, why don't you bring your friends in to the spirits? And I, I can see between the pocket doors and the dining room table, and I seen the girl sitting there. I seen some guy walk up mm -hmm. to her, bend down. He was tall, and he bent down, and he said something to her, and then she said something back, and then he went out back through the living room, mm -hmm. and I guess he was just hanging out in the living room here. I, that's what I thought he did. And then he came back out again and said something else to her, and then he left again. So Jim ends the session, and I go up to the girl and said, is that a guy that came in late from your corporate? And she goes, no, I thought it was one of your friends. I said, why? She goes, well, he bent over, and he said to me, do you mind if I join? Right. And can I bring my friends? And she says, well, I guess so. And he says, I'll be back. And he went out where we went and came back in and says my friends won't come in and he, he says I'm so I'm going to leave and he left but how did he get in in the first place with the door locked who's going to come to the house and just barge in someone's event and I even know what's going on in the house and ask a question like that yeah weird that was really weird and the door was locked so I don't even know how he got in he didn't when we went the door was still locked no one went out there's a ton of equipment sitting here by the refrigerator that someone could have walked off with. Not a piece missing. Yeah, that's cool. And no one knows who this guy was. Right. That's that's so cool. Were yeah. you saying yeah, that? Yeah. You, were you saying? Were you saying the railroad? Were you, Steve? Were you about to say the railroad cut was really? You thought it was haunted, like really bad. Well, Pam thinks it is. I, I've, I never, it is. I've never been, I've been to the railroad I've been wanting to go down there for a long time, and I just never have. I've never had the guts. All right. Well, if, if Officer Taylor's watching, then he needs to close his ears. We should go down. I'll go down there with you. <laughs> I'll go down. Well, maybe we'll ask Officer Taylor for permission. Or yes, maybe he can go maybe, with us. Yes, he can go with us for sure. I'd be like... He 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 can take he can take a night off of of hunting for bad guys and he can come with us and hunt for dead guys. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and that's where I got I'm my picture. I really like to stand with the the police department and find out what they actually see at night to That oh, you think we could get Officer Taylor to come on? Do you think he would talk about it? Does he talk I don't about know if you guys? Anything. I'd have to ask him. I, I I got his personal number. I can ask him if you he's ever seen him. anything. In, mm -hmm. If he's seen anything in town, yeah, he's been. I seriously would love to have either a park ranger or a cop from Gettysburg on just to see yeah. even the phone calls they might get. You know what I mean? Like maybe yeah. they get phone calls where people are like, "Oh, somebody's in my house," and they get there and like, "There's not." You know what I mean? Just little of whatever. Right. Yeah. They have to see um, stuff. I'll tell you who has some really good stories who's a police officer is um, Ernie Atwell. And he's on Paranormal Inc. INC, Paranormal Inc. He has some really amazing stories. And he was just on the beat um, in Maryland, Baltimore, and saw things. And that's how he got involved in the field. He He's a cool cop and he will tell you his stories. He's very oh, entertaining. Awesome. But oh, it's awesome. true, the things that he saw. Yeah. Um, I can't, it's, it's been an hour already, but Tony, mm -hmm. circling back to you, what about you? Since you've been to Gettysburg, what would you say you felt was the most haunted? I have to agree with you. I think the start from uh, uh, towards the main street uh, by the Gettysburg High School, there's like um, that walkway, you know. Uh, you see some of the drummer boy reenactments that come through there. You had a, the mm -hmm. Confederates that got slaughtered there that tried to uh, flank the Union that were set up by the cemetery, but on the other side of the road, that mm -hmm. area right there, they got they, they they went in there. A lot of young Confederates got wiped out. Really, lots of tragedy, lots of activity over there. Um, and then up into Colts Hill. So you go down and then back there by Colts Hill, you know. Uh, and then uh, I, I had an experience in Farnham, uh, Inn. I stayed in the room where the Confederate sniper uh, where his body was laid, mm -hmm. uh, where he died. Um, yeah, what else? I mean, I mean, Gettysburg is it's active everywhere. It's really hard to. Mm -hmm. I stayed in a recent uh, B and B with uh, Sabrina, and they had we stayed in the room where uh, there's a female 
you know, entity, I mean, uh, this card being, being that it likes men and she likes to touch men. She likes to mess around. And I actually experienced that. I had, I felt hands on my legs and. Oh, wow. Where was that at? Oh, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's a little, it's a little outside of uh, Little Round Top. It's a and b I can't think of the name right now. Was they it Battlefield really Bed and Breakfast? What is it? What? Battlefield Bed and Breakfast? No, 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 no. That I think it, is that the one over by Eisenhower's house. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's a little. No, 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 that one. I want Are to you talking about the one that the Dobbins house owns? Doesn't the Dobbins? Oh, house? I know which one you mean. Is um, it the bed and breakfast? Go ahead. No, wait, don't, doesn't uh, Dobbins House own a um, yeah, Maryland one, Tawny yeah, up on Taney Town Road. Yeah, I don't know what it's Tawny called. Tawny Town Road, Taney Town, Tawny Road. Yeah, that's like twenty. Yeah. That's like twenty feet or twenty, what something from Little Round Top, isn't it? It's like right yeah, there. This friend right yeah, really. they had a tennis court and they they, they the confederacy. Oh, oh that's Balladary. That's it. The Thank you, yeah, but I don't want to. I don't need to stay anywhere like that because I'm not going to be at the hotel to play tennis. Oh no, there's no. What? No, and you said it's bed and board. breakfast. No, it used Listen. to be underneath is where they bur they bury they bury Confederates. Yeah. Underneath yep. the tennis. Board. So we did. But we, Battlefield we had, Bed and Breakfast. You can rent the tack room, and you're mm -hmm. underneath of a field hospital, and you walk up the what? steps, and you can investigate that field hospital all night long. What? Wait, where's this at? Where's that one? Battle, Battlefield Bed and Breakfast. I want to stay there. We we're supposed to so stay there. If you stay there, you can just go walk up the property and investigate. No, what you do is you rent the tack room, and then your room is underneath of the field hospital. It's in the You're barn. in the barn. In the barn. It's beautiful room. The world pool tub, everything. Yeah, all you do is yeah, walk up the steps, too. and right above you is a field hospital. I I work there part time. Oh, <laughs> like currently? Yes. Oh my God! Like what? Like hello? Like get in there. I want in. Yeah, it's yeah, gorgeous. Sure. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh man. Um, Eisenhower used to walk their walk their fields. Um, when he was Eisenhower. alive. Yeah. Yep. Yep, and it was okay. a field hospital. Um, there's lots of stuff to do at Battlefield Bed and Breakfast. I said that when I die and I'm a ghost, I'm going to be happily ever after inside uh, the on the in the Eisenhower farmhouse. Like I'll be living in the house because people take care of it. There's it's furnished. Mamie had style. I'm cool with pink, and there's animals on still on there the cars are there like it's mm -hmm. like i'm set and i always have i always have visitors people come visit me i'll be like this is awesome especially at christmas yep yeah they decorate for me though you know what i mean i'll gotta do anything <laughs> <laughs> the, the grounds get kept it's never gonna knock it down yeah steve's never been to the eisenhower i have to take you over there. oh it's beautiful it's gorgeous it is yeah. All right, so before we go, because it's like five after, I want you guys just mm -hmm. to, um, you know, plug, you know, like do some, you know, www dots, Facebooks, numbers, you know, so that okay. everybody knows. Um, anybody who wants to investigate or if you need some paranormal equipment, 717-521-7465. If you're in Gettysburg, come see us at 271 Baltimore Street and visit us and Mark Nesbitt. Yes. All right. And, um, Thank you, everybody. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, Your website, Gettys go ahead. the, Gettys the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange at YOLO.com. YOLOSite.com. YOLOSite.com. So, all right. So, the Gettysburg Ghost Exchange at YOLOSite.com. YOLOSite.com. NOLOSite.com. YOLOSite. Y O L A. Yep. S I T E. YOLOSite. I know. It's confusing. Just call us. <laughs> yeah, we have to call. It's easier. Call the number. Call the number. Just tell us what you want. We'll get it. Call us. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you We're guys don't. To I'm gonna hang up alive, but don't go Thank anywhere because I just want to yeah. touch base. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Go to Gettysburg. Love it. Adios. <laughs>